I wanted to get Doctor of History. He's also an economist, Tarpley on, Dr. Webster Tarpley, because a few months ago we went to D.C. We do this for PrisonPlanet.tv, uh, folks. We went to D.C. and shot an hour with him uh, of, of many hours of interviews just on John P. Holdren's book and other government documents where they openly say planetary regime, global extermination. I've now got the fact that they're developing airborne Ebola. That's another report that uh, we're going to be getting to later. Better get to it now. They're going to send a hit team over here. But uh, the, uh, the issue, this is dangerous stuff, folks. The issue here uh, is that I, I wanted to have Tarpley school some people in this live radio slash TV transmission so I can then put a link up on uh, the elite's plan for global extermination exposed by Dr. Webster Tarpley. So I can put it as an addendum video for the uh, sophist, uh, the kooks, uh, the, uh, the so-called scientific cultist. Because they'll say, I'm a scientist, you're not, you're an idiot. And you see these guys, wannabe scientists or people that have a you know, biology degree or whatever. And we've interviewed hundreds of scientists exposing the global exterminism program. And they say, Tarpley is you know, evil, Tarpley is a liar, how dare him say that, that Darwin was bad, when I don't even particularly know Tarpley's view on Darwinism, creationism, um, I don't know him to even get into religious stuff. The point is, Darwin was a neo-Malthist, or Malthusian. And in his writings, and that grew into social Darwinism, which is the main driving religion of the global elite, that it's their right to kill us, steal from us, enslave us, because it's their right to dominate. Well, uh, that's a predatory system turned against we the people. Yes, humans are predators, but mainly builders and explorers, and we look outward. We don't feed on our own people. That is an aberrant uh, development as civilizations got bigger. Uh, and, and that gets into sociology, anthropology, uh, archaeology, but but the the point is, I've studied all of this, and and I know what Tarpley's talking about when he gives a gestalt of, you know, look at who go, uh, look at who John P. Holder and the White House science are likes, and he mentions the three big proto eugenicists coming out of the Malthus school, and and and, and he calls himself a neo Malthusian, and so Tarpley talks about Darwin and these scientists uh, and, and wannabe scientists, the Star Trek type fan people, you know, who, who, who is a, a particular cult, they then scream and say, don't talk about our God, Darwin. So I thought I'd get Tarpley to briefly explain what he's saying about Darwin and why he criticized Darwin. Because here's this book, here's all these documents, here's all these State Department memorandums, here's Tarpley giving total proof of everything he's saying, and this minority of people are throwing fits and savaging him and saying there are too many people. And by the way, how dare you talk bad about Darwin when we're not even debating one way or the other. That's a tar baby, uh, 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 the theory of evolution. And the point is, it's on record that the theory of evolution was developed hundreds of years earlier in Italy, other areas under other names. Again, he was just a little you know, royalish family that they picked. Uh, to, to, to popularize it, so they're also plagiarists. And, and that's on record that Darwin was, again, a sophist plagiarist. So, so th that's the issue. Look at the issue at hand. So there are a bunch of neo-Malthusians mad at Dr. Tarpley for devastatingly savaging them. And Dr. Tarpley video is number one in education on the front page of YouTube right now. It's at the Alex Jones channel. They're trying to shut down right now with red tape and violations saying we're racist for not loving Obama. We've actually been told this and given a violation so we may be shut down any minute we're told if we challenge it they may completely shut us down so the, uh, it, it, it's just incredible what's happening uh, but dr. Tarpley uh, they're coming after you for that and they're also saying when you say the current ecosystem would collapse without humans they don't know about all the major studies that humans have changed the ecosystem and that much of the ecosystem we now have is dependent on humans and that in many cases humans actually better their environment they don't know your great uh, knowledge that I've separately researched, when you give a gestalt statement, they say that that is a ridiculous fraud and that we would be better without humans being here. Better without humans, we are humans. It, it, it's, this, it's this white flag running it up, saying humanity's bad, deciding we're scum, deciding we're trash to be taken out. And they, as they attack you, they show what neo-Nazis they are, so brainwashed and controlled, Dr. Tarbley, they don't even know they're Nazis. Well, I would call a lot of these people quackademics. In other words, they're academics, but they're charlatans. And, and no matter how many degrees they have, they remain uh, charlatans. 
what you see, of course, through uh, the the uh, between the lines of their work, is a profound hatred for humanity, and I'm afraid a will to genocide. And this is now genocide on a planetary scale. It goes beyond the genocide in uh, in. Central These are East. gibbering demonic control freaks. Uh, who have not been accepted in life because they are malfunctioning, disgusting twerps, and so they turn that inner frustration outwards, looking for power and to kill. Well, and some of them, of course, have gotten uh, very high, like John Holdren has now become the, the White House uh, science advisor. This is, a, this is a, a mockery and a travesty beyond belief. But what they're singing, essentially, is the eternal song of the oligarch. The oligarch has always got to, to justify why should certain selected families or financiers rule the world. What is it about them? Are they more competent or whatever it is? And they've always got to invent some kind of an ideology to say the vast mass of humanity is inferior, subhuman, and does not deserve to live. And their basic idea is you pollute, you're a threat to the polar bears, you're a threat to the snail darters, to the storks, to the penguins, and all the rest of it, and therefore you have to be exterminated and and this is a profound contempt for concrete human individuals the vast majority thereof now in terms of the theory malthus is without doubt the biggest crackpot and also one of the most evil influences in the 19th century remember that malthus is a plagiarist he plagiarizes from the work of john maria ortes o-r-t-e-s if you look on uh, tarpley.net you can see an essay I did about this at the time, I believe, of the Rio conference back in uh, back in the mid '90s. Uh, he's a plagiarist. There's yeah, you nothing... actually have been to many of the UN conferences. You've actually worked in Rome. You've actually traveled the world. You've actually yeah, read but... the books. You're not just somebody that says, "Oh, I'm a scientist." Tarpley's a cook. I was. I had the honor of being thrown out of the Rome. Uh, International Food Conference, the United Nations World Food Conference held in Rome in November of 1974 by the Food and Agriculture Organization. They threw me out of their conference because they said that I was asking questions. Well, these are were... people looking for an excuse to kill so they can have everything for themselves, the classic mode of tyrants. But, but getting back, what's your view of Darwin? Because you criticized Darwin for his neo uh, uh, you know, promotion well, at the time. Malthus Essentially, Darwin exists within the framework established by, by Malthus. Now, the, the problem with Darwin, the, the, the main problem, and then we, we can talk about some of the more politically obvious ones, the big weakness of Darwin is the so-called blind watchmaker. And he expresses this by saying, when God created the universe, if he ever did, then he did it as a blind watchmaker. In other words, he didn't know what he was doing. And what he's, what he's trying to express is the idea that evolution is purely random. Now, we have to distinguish. Evolution, in my view, is absolutely true. There is evolution. There's tons of evidence for evolution, right? The fossil record, the geological record, on and on. Historical evolution also comes into play. But Darwin is a whole different kettle of fish. Divide the question of evolution from the question of the Charlotte and Darwin. And Darwin comes in and says... The universe is fundamentally indifferent to development. It, it, the universe doesn't care whether there's development or not. And everything that happens in the universe is purely random, purely by chance. And I would say, and many others have said, this is impossible because there is no random process that leads to the development of an eye or other forms of, uh, of positive evolution. And I'm not arguing anything supernatural, nor am I arguing anything that depends on religion per se. I'm simply saying that when you look empirically at the universe, you'll see that there is a built-in tendency towards development, that we go from lower levels of energy and organization to higher levels of energy and organization. In other words, the universe is not entropic, as Darwin or others might think, but rather the... Uh, opposite. I guess some well, my point is, is that I knew that you weren't even debating 
uh, you were stating that Darwin had these Malthusian views and was anti-human, anti-development, and very nasty, and was one of their big excuses for what they do. And these weak-minded people run off down the road and don't even debate you on what you really said. They build this sophistic straw man with which to attack you, and they're just so intellectually shallow while they wriggle around talking about how smart they are all day. Yeah. Again, my argument is the universe is negentropic. The universe tends towards higher levels of energy, higher levels of organization. It is not the watch that runs down, right? Newton, Newton is in the same tradition. Newton says it's a watch that will run down unless you rewind it. No. And Darwin it's the school of entropy. Uh, sure, but, but, but Einstein uh, agreed with you. He said... Uh, you know that uh, uh, God, uh, you know, d you know, does not play dice. And, and now more and more genetic engineers, quantum mechanics, who were atheists, they they start looking into this stuff. And they go, "This is designed. There is order here with order building. This is not." The, the word "designed" is a little bit charged. I would simply say there's a built-in bias towards development, a built-in tendency towards development. That is what you see empirically. And Darwin attacks that. It, it's just an imperial... Darwin negates it because he says it's a blind watchmaker. The key quote in Darwin is the blind watchmaker. This is the key to... Stay there, stay there. Forget everything you've been told about long-term food storage. When the collapse happens, you'll need the single most effective way to get high-powered Delta Force nutrients to your family fast. Like any Special Forces Commando, you need a plan. You need a Black Hawk Down food plan. Introducing the Survival Sprout Bank from Solutions from Science. It's your countertop survival garden. Yes, grow fresh greens right on your countertop in just a few short days. Sprouts are the green shoots that emerge from newly germinated seeds, and they are powerhouses of living, easily absorbed nutrients. The Survival Sprout Bank is a complete kit with nothing else to buy. And with sprouts so easy to grow, even children can grow emergency food. Call 877-327-0365 or go to Survival Sprout bank.com that's 877-327-0365 or order online at survival sprout bank.com survival sprout bank your black hawk down emergency food plan since 2007 the federal reserve and the u.s government have injected as much as 20 trillion dollars into the economies of the world and yet the globe's economies continue to contract our government is borrowing $58,000 per second. If they stop spending, the economy collapses. If they continue spending, the economy collapses. And if they raise interest rates, the economy collapses. Prepare now. Call Ready Reserve Foods and put your plan together with quality, storable food. Ready Reserve Foods has been in business canning the finest in dehydrated foods for nearly 40 years. We control the quality from start to finish with double enameled nitrogen-packed cans for maximum shelf life. Life. Choose from a variety of pre-selected packages or customize your own plan and order exactly what you need. Call today for a free catalog at 800-453-2202. That's 1-800-453-2202 or visit readyreservefoods.com. Factory Direct, wholesale pricing from readyreservefoods.com. Is your church, school, or organization desperately looking for new fundraising ideas? Tired of the same old candles or candy, taking orders, inventory, and low profits? Well, here's great news. 10X Fundraising guarantees 10 times traditional profits with zero hassle. For an amazing free bonus, free shipping, and an extra 10% off, enter GCN when you go to 10xfundraising.com. That's the number 10, the letter X, fundraising.com. Or call 800-480-8797. Visit 10X Fundraising for 10 times a profit today. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. We don't need to convince you that the threat of forced entry is on the rise and that your door locks are inadequate. Now you can virtually eliminate the threat of your door being kicked in with the Door Sentinel. The Door Sentinel offers standalone door kick-in protection for under $67 and installs in minutes on any door. Turn your home or apartment into a fortress. Get the Door Sentinel at sentinelsecuritygroup.com or call 678-648-6757. The Door Sentinel, always on guard for you.
Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. I hear the all right, I could talk to Tarpley all day. And they're attacking him on the video for is saying that the current ecosystem would collapse if humans weren't here. You know, he, he, he talks about the human-made ecosystem, and we have more forests than we had in North America 200 years ago. That's confirmed. Uh, many areas where humans are actually is where the wildlife comes into. But these ignoramuses don't know about all those studies. Sure, there are things humans do that are bad for the earth. But the earth was born out of fire. It's very powerful. Uh, and and uh, the ecosystems are incredibly powerful. I am worried about some of the cross-species genetic engineering and things like that that can you know, infect the biosphere. But the environmentalists aren't. They just want to use environmentalism as, as excuse to say, we vote for the cockroaches and the cockroaches outvote you. We're taking your property. That boils it down. But Tarpley, am I correct in what you said in that a gestalt statement about you know the current human-designed ecosystem would, would collapse? And you're just saying the current ecosystem... You, you're saying that humans have made contributions, not just things that are negative, correct? Yeah, above all, uh, agriculture, right? If you look at agriculture uh, all over the world, this is this, whether you like it or not, and whether it's been done well or poorly or in between, agriculture is now an integral part of the world ecosystem. And human activity in general plays a role which can be negative, but it's also positive. And the, the point with these fanatics is that their hatred of humanity, their genocidal fury is such that they can't imagine a positive role, right? They say humanity is the cancer of the earth, mankind is a disease, has to be exterminated, uh, don't have children. Uh, this is simply the language of hate. Now, historically, that's also what it's been. If you look at Darwin, right, this idea of the struggle for existence, this leads you directly to Friedrich Nietzsche and the will to power. Nietzsche says, basically, I'm going to go you one better, Darwin. I'm going to get to the will, of, will to power. And that takes you straight to Hitler. So in other words, the roots of genocide are in this. On the other side, social Darwinism, the application of Darwin to sociology and social theory, an absolute disaster, because this leads to the most reactionary, the most brutal, the most cruel, backward, savage uh, kinds of social policies, right? That the poor should die because it's their fault. Uh, they have failed. Uh, it's, uh, or the idea, for example, that war is a good thing because it wipes out the weaker members of the human species. Well, this is what it does. This is what it does. Uh, and, and, and correct me if you disagree with this, but, but I mean, it, it's just an innate instinct. I know it. To be human is to reach, to build, to recognize beauty, and to want to construct and trailblaze and explore. Certainly, we have the barbarous side to us that is part of our overall balance. But if you just say the barbarism, the brute, uh, you know, anarchy is what humanity is and dive into it, every civilization that does that degenerates. Those that reach for the stars build uh, palaces of enlightenment. Correct. Uh, in, in other words, I would, the, uh, the way I would say it is that mankind is potentially good, and the true aspect of humanity is scientific creativity and other forms of creativity. And this is exactly what Darwin never, never takes into account. You notice these people never talk about technology. They say the array of resources that mankind can draw in is axiomatically fixed. It's always the same. And notice Although they control the resources. They're just creating a paradigm of artificial scarcity. What happens if we come along with a new discovery, a new technology that allows us to define a whole new array of resources or parts of the material universe as resources, right? If we can, instead of having uranium, if we could use seawater as a fuel or sand as a fuel or anything else as a fuel, that would be a step forward, and, and this is exactly what they never want, and it leads them to these ridiculous consequences. They did this book about the limits to growth in the early 1970s, and they calculated that world society would break down within 20 to 25 years because of the exhaustion of natural resources. Well, it hasn't happened, and what has happened is that in many of those categories, we now have more proven reserves than we did then. Uh, 
John Maria Ortes, back in the 1790s, said that the carrying capacity of the world was three billion. That was the absolute upper limit. And now we have charlatans today, quackademics, who come back with the carrying capacity. Well, the carrying capacity changes when technology changes and science gives it the possibility. Exactly, but, but at the end of the day, the, 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 the useful idiots believe all this. The technocrats know they're just selling a collective guilt, so we'll give in to their uh, fake green tyranny that isn't green at all to let them organize our society, and now they're selling everywhere. The end of humanity, the world without humans, all these TV shows and books, how sexy it is, how great it is to die. They're giving us a collective will to commit societal suicide so that the globalists can have it all for themselves. They have injected a psychic fail switch into us to, to flip off our life force uh, survival mechanism, and I am an organic response like a piranha, white blood cell against them, and I'm coming for you, and so was Dr. Tarpley. Tarpley, we salute you. Your video is number one on YouTube. Thank you very much, Alex. Great job. There he goes.